Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to input your uh, WebGL Unity game onto itch.io and if you don't know what itch.io is, it, you can host your games, you can put them there it's a great place to make a portfolio it can also be a marketplace where you can sell your games as you can see there may be some games here that can be sold for instance this one, some are just for free and also people can also donate for you if they like, if they like your game anyways uh, we're going to put the, our game on this site. By the way, I'm not uh, in any way affiliated with these guys, but it seems like a cool site. Anyways, if you haven't yet, you will register. I have already registered, but it's a, a quick process. After that, of course, uh, don't forget to verify your email. Anyways, once you're logged in, you go into this uh, dashboard over here where you can add your games and do much more. And this this site will be where we put our game. Uh, of course, before we put our game here, we have to build it. So on Unity, uh, this is my game. It's a pretty simple game, just like the, one of the previous tutorials. I, it's the same game. You use the 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 A and D keys to move to the sides and the, the mouse click to jump. This is just to check if the controls are working because sometimes they may not be working very well. So. You go to build settings and you make sure it's on WebGL because a web player will no longer be available for you most most probably because on Unity 5.4 it will be deprecated. So web, WebGL now you go to player settings and here you can of course make this whatever you want and this as well and of course this you can uncheck if you want or not. I'll leave it just like this and here on the WebGL template. You, you must put it on default, not on minimal, on default because if it's on, on minimal it will, it will have a little bug with itch.io a little bit incompatibility and this way it will work correctly so you build and we build to a, to a folder so let me create here a new folder um, webgl itch.io and you select the folder and you build to it and this will take a bit of time and once that's built you go onto the folder that you made the build on and you select all of them and now you have to zip it now I, I use a 7 zip you can use WinRAR or whatever you want uh, the, download, the download link for the 7 zip is on the, in the description anyways for me I just have to right click and it's here you might have to open 7-zip manually by typing here 7-zip but anyways I have this shortcut so I can do this you go into 7-zip and you add to webgl.io zip and the zip is done now this will be the, fo the file that will upload into itch.io so in here let's create a project and the project name can be WebGL upload just like that and this will automatically put here the name of the project you can give it a description the kind of project it's HTML don't click on unity this is for the old web player no now it's HTML and this you can put whatever you want pricing for now you will not mess with this and on the upload files let's upload the file that we just zipped so on the desktop it was on webglh.io and we upload this file and there you go now here are the dimensions uh, and you can leave it like this you can also make it downloadable but that's by adding new files because the version that we just zipped it's html version so it's just like this we don't have to mess up mess with anything here and here the viewport dimensions you have to change them the the width has to be the same or bigger than this one so i'll just copy 960 and the height has to be at least 100 pixels uh, bigger than the value that you put here so we'll put here 600 we'll put here 700 and this is so that you can see the these buttons right here that would that will appear on the page in a bit so that's done of course that you can put here values 
bigger than this this is just these are just the minimum values that I recommend don't add a full screen button because that's already here on the unity it's and of course add a description if you want this is all stuff that you can set up if you need if you want to and save and view page and once you click that button you'll be brought to here and in a bit we'll see our game working perfectly fine as you can see you can see the buttons the full screen button and all the rest And the game seems to be shown fully. And that's basically it. Now if I press the keys, nothing is working. So you, because you have to focus on the window. So if I focus, now we can move with the keys and with the mouse button. And of course, if you put it, make it full screen, it also works. This messes up a bit with the, with the screen on Unity. In this case, it doesn't really matter. So that's just it. And to share the game, all I have to do is to share this URL. But before you can do that, you have to change this from draft to public. So click on draft or go click on edit game, it's the same thing. And go on to the, the bottom part over here. Press public, save, and just like that, your game is now public. So say I give this to a random person. Just like that, and the game loads perfectly fine, as you can see. And anyways, this is it for today guys, thank you for watching.